Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair so if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not going to see here on YouTube. Today I want to share some of the worst skincare hacks around on the internet. The inventor, the maker of the worst skincare hacks that you can find on the internet. That is of course 5 Minute Crafts. Let's see what shit they've been up to recently. Here she is, old Susan. She has gotten in a complete mess with that. If that's how I use masks, I just wouldn't bother. Water, activated charcoal, white clay. Okay, mix it all together. She's making a clay mask, basically. I mean, that's fine. I love these kind of masks, don't you? I, I think, oh, they're usually good for like exfoliating a little bit as well, you know? Like a bit of physical exfoliation. I've not put it in an Old Spice deodorant thing before, but that looks pretty decent. That looks like it might work. It'll probably fall apart actually in seconds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apply onto damp skin. This looks half decent. Oh, what? Okay, so that's not the mask. That is not the same mask. That's like one of those peel off mask textures, no? Why do they lie? Why do five minute crafts lie all the time? Why can't they just like think of something good that actually works? They have the time, they have the budget. I don't know. Wait five minutes, then rinse away. I mean, the charcoal, the clay, just look like a very decent clay mask. You don't really need to put it into a deodorant stick, but I guess it's convenient. I don't know, let's see what else they've got going on. <gasps> Someone's drawn blackheads onto her nose. What's she gonna do? She's gonna take an egg, just the whites of the egg, and mix it in with a, what is that, makeup brush. <laughs> put it on her nose. Okay, sure, sure. I've done this before, oh. Yeah, I've done this before on my nose and it was insanely drying. My skin did not look good after it. It was actually like really irritated and red. And then she's brushing the egg over the top of it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got with. <laughs> oh, what is that? Poor girl. I hope they paid her a lot to do this. So that is egg whites all over your skin. This kind of is supposed to create like one of those um, blackhead peel off strips for your nose, but it hurts 10 times more with the egg. And when I did this, my personal experience was that it didn't work as well as one of the peel off strips. It hurt more, um, kind of just irritated my skin. It left me very dry and red. I used to think that this was an amazing idea. I think I actually shared it on my channel a couple of years ago, but I just think it's terrible. There's no need to do that whatsoever. Skin imperfections, of course. Uneven skin tone, always. What's she gonna do? Okay, let's see. Taking an egg again, they like their eggs. Five minute crafts must have a really big egg and toilet roll budget. Um, she's gonna whisk it up with some shaving foam, hydrogen peroxide and mix that together. Isn't five minute crafts supposed to be easy to do at home DIY stuff? I've got eggs, I've got shaving foam. I'm guessing like myself, a lot of us don't have hydrogen peroxide just around the house, right? Unless you do and I'm missing out on an essential, I don't know. One thing I wouldn't be doing is putting shaving foam all over my face. If I was to do this, my redness, which you can see a lot of on my cheeks and on my nose, would go crazy. My skin struggles with it even down here when I'm just shaving. Leave it on for 10 minutes. A mask is perfect for intensive skincare treatment. A, a mask could be, probably not this one. She's doing her makeup, she's got freckles. I love freckles. I love freckles so much. I wish I had them. I think they look incredible. Not when they're drawn on like hers. Um, dandelion leaves. We already know this isn't gonna do anything. We already know this is a load of bullshit. She's gonna chop them up. What's she doing? She's blending them. Okay, so she's making a salad water. She's gonna whisk that up. <laughs> she's draining the juice out, okay. I mean, it looks like it might be all right to drink. I don't know, aren't dandelions poisonous to drink? Probably not. And she's applying that on a cotton pad on her face. <laughs> juice for fresh dandelion leaves saturates the skin with vitamins and eliminates freckles. No, it fucking doesn't. Don't lie, why are you lying? And then after they're completely gone, I mean, first of all, those freckles look terrible because they're fake, but I love freckles. I don't understand why people want to get rid of them. I think they look so, so good. Whisking up a leaf isn't going to get rid of your freckles. Oh no, someone's put Vaseline all over her face. What's she going to do? Get a melon, of course. <laughs> okay. 
making ice cubes out of it. That looks nice. Like I'd put that in a drink, freeze them, pop it in a drink, freeze, rub on your face. Again, this isn't gonna get rid of oil long term. Like this is just gonna like cleanse it away. And then after she's got no Vaseline on her face. I'm very, very oily. I'm full of oil on my face. And I've personally found that just using the right moisturizers, keeping up with exfoliation and regular cleansing, sorted my oily skin right out. The less I try to avoid being oily, the more my oils seem to regulate themselves, if that made sense. So this isn't good. Putting an ice cube on your face isn't gonna do shit. Black dots. So these would be sebaceous filaments. They don't look like blackheads, do they? She's gonna squeeze them. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Step one, parsley. Mint. Another salad. She's making a salad again. Boiling water. Okay. Okay. Whisk it away. Oh, I hope she let that cool down before she put her hands in. Hold it for 10 minutes. A towel soaked in mint mint and parsley will open the pores. Pores don't open, we all know that. Um, any hot towel, correct me if I'm wrong, is gonna help open your pores. It's gonna help steam that area, I guess. It doesn't have to be cut like soaked in mint and parsley. It's not gonna do anything. What a waste of time. Coffee, what coffee is that? Egg again. Just gonna put this all over her face. She's got really nice skin, this lady, hasn't she? You can see she's wearing makeup, actually, but she's got a paper towel again. What's the... Let the mask dry, remove it, and remove any excess residue. It'll clear the pores. I don't understand, like, I... I just... The effort of doing this when you can just keep up with a regular chemical exfoliator, which seems to do the trick pretty well, this baffles me. Like, why would anybody think, oh, Oh no, my nose, and then go and mix up a coffee egg mixture, put it on their face, cut up some toilet roll into strips and put it on their face to solve your problem for what, like a couple of minutes to a day. Then the problem will be back as soon as it went here. Do you know what I mean? It's just, these like DIY craft beauty hack things are always baffle me. I guess it plays on that natural home remedy thing where everyone thinks natural is better. So something you can whisk up in your kitchen is probably gonna be really effective for you. When really everything they've showed is just sort of bullshit. Okay, so she's got some prosthetic spots on her face again. Their makeup artist is actually pretty good. Like, a lot of these don't even look like spots. They look like blisters. Like, she's been out in the sun too long and her skin has actually started to blister. Like, if you got those, you don't want to be putting banana or whatever she's going to do on your skin. You want to go straight to a doctor or dermatologist and get that sorted. Lemon. Lemon. It's just, it just baffles me. The smell of that banana is going to be so, so bad. It's going to be horrible. You know when someone eats a banana, like, in the lift? It's like, why are you? eating that here on a train. Selfish. Right, she's applying this all over her face. Mmm, okay, yeah. Oh, and now it's magically gone once she's washed it off. The mask has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Repeat, three times a week. Don't. Don't even do it once a week. Dull skin. Orange. Clementine? Satsuma? How do you, how can you tell the difference? I don't know. So you let that dry. You let the skin dry. So you're gonna whisk up these dry orange pills. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Honey. Turmeric. Was that? What is that? What was that? Curd. Who, who has curd just laying around as well? Is that another thing? Another basic that I should be stocked up on that I'm just not? I won't be putting that on my skin. My god, that's gonna stink. All these are so much effort. You know what would be better as well for dull skin? It's just regular exfoliation again. Oh, so this actually makes you photoshopped by the looks of it. So, I mean... To be fair, I would do that. Right, they're annoying me. I can't look at it anymore. Five Minute Crafts have this great knack at making the most simplest of things so, so difficult. If you've got dull skin, exfoliate, hydrate, moisturize. If you've got a spot, apply a spot treatment or just leave it and let it get on with its own thing. If you've got oily skin, again, exfoliate, keep yourself hydrated and moisturize, I find is the best thing for me. These Five Minute Craft things are meant to be so easy and make your life better and they play on that kind of like natural is better thing when really all you you need is a decent product that works for you. I just don't understand these whatsoever. The last thing I want to do when my skin looks uneven is run downstairs, make a salad, chop up some orange peel, and then apply all that shit to my face and then let it dry and then wash it off and do that three times a week. What is the point? I honestly want to try some of this stuff just to kind of prove how bad they are. Let me know if you tried any of these masks before, any of these hacks. Let me know how it worked for your skin, if it did work. Leave that all in the comments box down below. But that is it from me now, guys. I will see you next time.